many of the trails that lace the mountains here at Elliman Mountain in northern Vermont have a tendency to have constant wet muddy spots that almost never dry up except for a short time and maybe late July and that's if we have a dry year which is rare The simple fact is that here in the Green Mountains we have a lot, a lot of springs. And these springs keep the ground in many areas saturated. That combined with the, uh, the areas that have a high water table make it for some pretty wet walking. question that uh, some of my students asked a while back, especially the ones who were taking the uh, Bear Forest program, were how to, what to do and how to deal with the, uh, the wet muddy ground, especially uh, in the primitive camp. Excuse my noisy pig of a dog over here. <laughs> Typical black, black lab fat and happy and noisy. But anyway, some of my students who have taken the Bear Forest program have asked uh, what they can do about um, you know, uh, mud in the campsite. Um, and this is a good question because over time you walk on these trails and you're walking around in the campsite and it is muddy, never dries up. causes erosion, destroys the earth that you're walking on, makes it difficult for plants to grow, and in time it can actually change the entire pattern of the wildlife that migrate through the area, the drainage that comes down the mountainsides, and that can lead to uh, washouts, trenches, erosions in areas of the, uh, the low-lying rivers that may not have occurred before with the natural drainage and runoff of rains and snowmelt. I don't know if you've uh, ever seen the, uh, the short educational video. I think it's on YouTube. Uh, I think it's called uh, How Wolves Change Rivers. It doesn't take an expert to uh, understand that humans change rivers just by their natural walking patterns upon the earth. Every footfall we take, every track we make upon the earth has an impact upon the soil. The plants, the insects, the animals, the birds. Everything's connected, everything's related. And so one, while some trails, like this one here, are high and dry, and really don't get hardly any erosion whatsoever from foot traffic, other trails are not so lucky. But there is an easy and very effective fix to wet muddy trails and even uh, you know, wet ground in, uh, in campsite areas. Um, not only can uh, it increase the comfort of uh, staying in uh, wet areas, camping zones, but also 
prevent unnecessary erosion. Now, in most forests, you'll find deadfall. It's everywhere. Dead branches and trees that have died, fallen, and lit to the ground. And most people look at this and they say, oh, well, it's, it's good firewood or it's good shelter building material. It is, absolutely. But there's another use for it. Making primitive floors and walkways. Making bridges over wet areas is takes a lot of work, takes a lot of material. Now, of course, if you're going over top of the stream, it's necessary. But I've seen a lot of uh, a lot of trail areas where there's bridges built over muddy sections. Now, if you have the tools and you know you've got the manpower, that's fine. But if you're out here on your own and you don't have the tools, and you don't have the manpower, and you don't have the time. Normally what you do have is lots of deadfall. And the simple act of breaking that deadfall into certain lengths, whatever length you need, and laying it down side by side over the muddy sections, creates a primitive and highly effective walkway, wooden walkway, that will protect the trail from erosion and washout from foot traffic that you use. And the nice thing about this structure is that it moves, unlike a bridge, which has to be pretty sturdy, You've got to have solid foundation. These sticks will move and float with the, uh, uh, the movement of the earth itself. And so when it's winter and you get the frost heaves, these will buckle up. But as the frost heaves go down, as the ground thaws, the sticks and the branches and the logs will also fall right back into place, side by side. Over time they get covered with leaves, they start to blend into the forest floor, they don't stick out. Plants can grow up in between, like you see the jewel weed starting to do here. And the ferns. Indeed, we're over on this side. You've got a small jack in the pulpit coming up. And so it's breathable structure. It's movable, it's breathable, it allows the water to go through. It floats on top of the mud. And the more you walk on it, the more it cements these sticks into the soft ground, into the mud itself, so they don't move. So not only by using this method can you prevent erosion along wet muddy trails, you can also make walking on wet muddy trails that much more pleasant. You can also make staying in a primitive campsite during the rainy season much more pleasant by keeping the mud at bay under your feet. You can also lay this type of uh, log structure down or stick structure down and put your tents on top of it uh, or your shelters on top of it keep you up out of the mud, keep you from sinking. <clears throat> you can also put your fire pits on top of here if you want to. Just layer a thick layer of mud. And then build your fire on top of that, on top of these sticks. The mud will dry into dry soil and the soil will protect the logs from burning underneath it. The other nice thing it does is it helps to clean up the forest. You get all this deadfall that litters the ground. And since most forest divisions 
across the country now, snuff out the majority of the wildfires that sweep through for fear of turning into, uh, you know, something catastrophic like we saw in Yellowstone, many areas of California, uh, as well as Colorado, uh, Arizona. It leaves all this deadfall. This is all fuel. So yes, we can burn it in our uh, survival fires or campfires. We can use it for shelter material. But still, there's a lot left over. So by breaking this stuff up and laying it down across wet, muddy trails, helps to clean up this deadfall, clean up the ground. In short, it helps to do our part as caretakers of the earth, of which so many people have forgotten how to do. This particular section of trail is normally always wet and muddy. And right now it's, it's somewhat dry, it's still muddy. Because um, it hasn't rained for oh, about a week. But uh, we've got a big rain spell coming in that's supposed to last about a week. So this area here is usually about shin deep in mud. And so uh, all I did is lay down the branches, a few stepping stones, Next section, I just uh, happen to have some old firewood chunks that uh, that had basically gone ban uh, gone past burn time. So layered those down. Makes a solid, even trail, easy walking. So, why not do your part in protecting the delicate balance of the world, the delicate balance of most ecosystems? Help to clean up the forest, protect the land from erosion, from your travels across it.